Yo, 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 yo. We back. Versus locks. Versus dipset. Versus, versus, versus. Oh, battle rap is the shit, man. I don't care what form it is. If it's on a beat, it's on a beat. This versus was the first, one of the first real hip hop battles battles this is i'm talking about two super groups in hip-hop maybe not in the overall scope of entertainment they may not consider them super but in hip-hop we consider these two of the best two of the best rap groups they went at each other we've been waiting for this shit since murder inc and the locks deep slash D block and dip set and G unit and shady aftermath and everybody in slaughterhouse and everybody was going at each other. Jay Z was in it. Fabulous was in it. Fat Joe. Y'all remember all of this New York shit, man. The most, the most famous beefs ever in hip hop besides like, you know, Tupac and Biggie and NWA and all of that shit. But we talking about a five to some year span of these niggas rapping at each other. We finally got to see that be broken down and take place. And Jada Kiss whooped they ass. Nah, it was the locks up there. But Jada Kiss whooped they ass. Performer of the night. We gonna judge this like a battle. Performer of the night. Who was it? Jada Kiss, Styles P, Sheik Luch. By far... Did y'all see the in syncness and how they were rapping? My, you ain't never seen a performance on a versus like that ever. That's number one. You've barely seen a performance like that in rap concerts ever. You, I mean, like if you're not talking about the Wu-Tang Clan and, and upper, upper groups that still fuck with each other to this day type shit, then like, yeah, nah. Y'all, y'all don't understand, like, these, some of these people freestyle sessions turned into shootouts. These people have almost lost their lives, and they got a chance to be up on that stage. It was way more than what y'all were looking at. It was more, it was, it was more than the music. This is New York, like Jada Kiss kept saying. That was the sound of hip-hop of modern age incarnated. The original pioneers of hip hop are them. They are the gods, the true gods of hip hop, the KRS ones and, and all of those names. But when you talk about the Eminem, 50 Cent, Jay-Z Nas, all of them, bruh, the Jada Kisses, the fabulouses, the list goes on. The T.I. when he was beefing with old boy from up the street in Atlanta. Like, remember, T.I. was beefing with some dude back then, too. This is when even he was getting shine. Rap, I'm saying all of this because the rapping ability back then, you had to be A1 with everything. Storytelling, metaphors, similes, punchlines. Hell, I remember hearing a bunch of interviews with Jada Kiss. You could go on a lot of interviews Jada Kiss talking about, yo, I wanted Cassidy to be with the locks or D Block, whatever. You know, it was already part of the Rough Rider family. Like, I don't think people knew, besides, I, I want to get to the battle and who won. I feel like the locks won. Um, Dipset has more commercial hits, but they have cult classic hits, which are bigger than pop hits. Popular hits are never bigger than cult classics. They're not. You got to understand that cult classics is something that you and your people just play all day. Like, you could get that inspiration from that song or whatever, movie, whatever, anytime. A popular song is only cool sounding for the moment. You could get, you could go back to some of them, some, and get that feel, but it's, it's more so of, like, the party and all of that shit. Cult classics, come on, bro. Gangsta and Gentlemen, all of these type of songs, you think that's not going to win against Ballin'? 
You think that's not going to... Yes, that's a big song, but y'all chose the wrong selection. Y'all should have really went heavy on rapping, rapping, because the audience knew everybody's shit. I mean, word for word. I don't know what that second DJ did in the beginning of the verses when he got, you know, booed. <laughs> and then the entourages, it was so funny. That was really like a battle. They couldn't get the entourages off stage. I kept saying, yo, we're in smack. Smack would have handled that. Yo, we going to flip the coin and see who go first. Who call it? I lost got heads. Everything good. They would have flipped that big ass coin. They would have shut that shit down. But it would have really, really felt like a battle. Oh, my God. And Jada Kiss really tried his best to make it feel like that. Like, the locks, Cameron, and you know, he was doing his shit, too. <laughs> Jewel started waking up at the end. Uh, <laughs> it's just certain songs that they was playing was devastating. And the acapella sessions of rapping. The full, just the rapping ability of Jada Kiss, the lock of the locks was just showcased so perfectly. They were in sync with each other. They wasn't all over the place. They kept mentioning, yo, y'all niggas is lip syncing up here. Y'all could have played that for iTunes in y'all car. We came up here to sweat. I'm like, yo, oh, he's shit talking, talking. Okay. Bruh, that shit was so much of a highlight because of Jada Kiss, bruh. And, like, yo, the locks themselves, all three of those brothers were perfect. Perfect. I don't want to hear, because I want to create a series called Hip Hop Myths. In the first episode, I want to talk about how blank, blank. I can't give you all that until the episode is out. But anyway, the older dudes in hip hop are the best people in hip hop, period. They have always, it has always been like that. When Tupac and Biggie was coming out and, and, and Nas and everybody was coming out, guess who they said the best was? Public Enemy. All the people before them or around them and all this other shit. It's like, yo, they paid homage to the pioneers. We got to pay homage to the pioneers and the legends and the modern era. The modern era started in the early 2000s. The modern era didn't start in the 90s. <clears throat> no, that's just still the golden, the 90s, 80s, still the golden age. The, the late, nine, like, 98, 99, 2000 to, like, 03, that's the newer wave generation of hip-hop. And the most dominant. Think about it. Those hip-hop stars that were just performing probably been in rap longer than most of the rappers. And I'm talking consistently. They still come out with music. Both sides, Dipset and the Locks. Yeah, Dipset kind of disappointed me in their performance, but the songs were still good. I just think the order of it was terrible, though. But cut this, this short. I say all the time, practice, practice your craft. Your craft matters. Your craft matters. Okay? That that versus last night proved it your craft matters stop bullshitting if you are a rapper and you want to be a rapper your most important task you have is to learn the ability to write because that proves when you can write when you can know when you know your own shit when you practice and you actually make the effort into your art you could recite it you could showcase it off perfectly just like that these dudes were not only in sync they knew how to beat each other's hype men when certain parts of the bar came on like you can't get rappers that just came out two days ago to do this this is why it's like yo you new people have no idea what you missed out on if you didn't see that or if you don't understand the significance of Dipset versus The Locks. That was so New York. That was so hip hop. Hip hop started in the islands in Bronx. Started in Jamaica slash the Bronx. They was in Madison Square Garden. Okay. 
the first big major event back in New York was with New York, let me hear it, rappers. Not singers, not Broadway, rappers. Hip hop is the most influential thing to hit entertainment history. And it's not even just entertainment, it's a culture. And they, but they, the world loves this rap stuff, man. And these people was like, yo, this is how you do a versus. Now that's how you do a versus. From now on, that's how you supposed to do a versus. <laughs>